for an anchor. If you're looking for a 30 minute rebounder workout, then you are in the right place. Put on your favorite music or no music at all and meet me up on the mini trampoline. If you're done with the part of your leg, you have a soft bend in the knees, find your heavy tailbone. So navel pulls up, tailbone's heavy, and begin right here with your basic bounce. So balls of your feet are on the rebounder, heels lift ever so slightly, and you have a soft bend of your knees. So think calf raise. You're starting to warm up through your ankles, your feet, your calves. Get your muscles in your lower body ready to absorb the impact of jumping, of rebounding. Now, luckily, jumping on a mini trampoline or a rebounder is much easier, gentler on your joints than the ground. So you are still doing something amazing. Okay, so today's workout, 15 moves, two times through 30 minutes. Each move is about a minute long. You will have a few seconds in there to learn the next move. And these are more combo moves, but nothing overly complicated. And like I always say, if there's ever a combo that you don't love, just pick one of the moves and do that for the minute. Remember, no worries. The point here, the focus here is to keep your heart rate up. So this is more of a steady state cardio, which is the type of workout that you should be doing more often when it comes to cardio. You should only be putting little bursts of HIIT training throughout your week, but for the most part, you wanna stay in that steady state zone. That's what's best for us and our bodies. HIIT can be over taxing, can over stress our body. Say, say cardio is the beautiful place to be when you're talking cardio. Okay, so we have some fun workout. We have a fun workout in store for us today. Let's stop our bounce though and roll through one ankle in one direction and then switch directions. Now switch feet. Yes. And then switch directions on that foot. And bring it here to the basic bounce. Okay. Arms long by your side, deeper than arms, sweep overhead, and exhale, let them just fall down. Do that again, and exhale. Great job, so just do any other warm up moves you need. Maybe you wanna pause this video, head on over to my mini trampoline rebounding playlist, and I have a longer warm up video if you need that, and then come back and join us for this. I'm gonna show you the first move so you know what's to come. Okay, so it's a little combo move. It's fun. Some of these moves, a lot of these moves are also going to challenge your balance. We're going to be working on single leg movements, some twisting, all that type of things, which really challenges our balance, works our core, works our brain, which we sometimes stop working as we age. So anyway, first move looks like this. You tap inside, outside, two jumping jacks, okay? And then you'll switch side. Inside ankle, outside ankle, two jumping jacks, okay? Just like that. Remember, it is just the direction that you're tapping, not necessarily the destination. So you might not actually tap, that's fine. It's just that little direction there, and then you do your jumping jacks, okay? And if one of those directions don't work, just do two in one direction, okay? That's it, I'm gonna start our timer. We have 30 minutes, we're gonna get started. Make sure you get your sip of water, and then let's go. Okay, eight seconds, let's do this. I am gonna get my sip. Two, one, go. Tap, and tap, two jumping jacks. Okay, each move, one minute, tap, Tap. And this time, you're just doing each move once and then we'll repeat the second time through. So just one time for this round. Smile. So it's gonna be a little fun today. Like I said, a little bit different. We're going to be moving for 30 minutes straight, but at any point, you can always get your sip of water but try to come back to us. Try to stay moving because we wanna keep our heart rate Steadily elevated, okay? And remember, don't worry about how silly you look. Don't worry about making a mistake. We want to learn to laugh at ourselves. We want to learn to find joy in all parts of our lives. It's gonna just help us. One more each side. Yes. And then we're gonna go right into move two. Keep moving so you can bounce or box or shuffle as I show you the next move. Next move looks like this. Two punches, one side, then punch, knee across, then you switch sides. So join me whenever you're ready. <sighs> nice, okay, so this is move two. I just have a little hop to the side and then knee punch across. <sighs> whenever we are moving across our body, so like here, we're punching and moving two different sides of our body, we're working our brain differently. And a lot of times we don't work our brain in that way. So this is great, we're work, working both sides of our brain here. <sighs> Remember, 
If you like one part of this move, just stick with that. <sighs> Breathe through this. And you do not have to stay at my pace. You can take it faster or slower. <sighs> yes. Eight more seconds. And then we're already on to move three. <sighs> Remember this first round has 15 moves. This is last one right here. <sighs> okay, so next one looks like this. You have knee hop, kick hop, knee hop, kick hop. We're just alternating legs here. <sighs> yes, so there is a lot of kickboxing moves throughout this workout. <sighs> if you've been with me for a while, you know I love a good kickboxing cardio and I love rebounding, so putting them together, I just think it's such a great workout mentally and physically. And of course, both cardios use your core. Breathe. 20 seconds. Right here. Wow, we have not done a 30 minute rebound workout in a while. So I thought it was time. When I was writing up the workout to do with you today, I was like, you know what? We're ready for it. Mentally, we need to just kind of decompress a lot of times, so 30 minutes is great. One more. Okay, so this looks like jab, cross, jab, knee, comes up and you do two hops, okay? So jab, cross, jab, hop, hop. Jab, cross, jab, hop, hop. Yep, you've got it. Just get a little balance work in there. Mentally, you've gotta stop and think. 30 more seconds. Nice. My little pup is laying like right here by me. I just had to see where she was at. Beautiful. This one really gets me thinking. Last one right here. Beautiful. Okay, take it to your boxer shuffle. Next move, hip dip, hip dip. Okay, join me. This one's simple. Little twist, so I'm trying to keep my chest squared off and just twisting from my core, twisting my lower body. Yes, nice work. Remember, land with your soft bend of your knees. Pull your core in to make the twist happen. 30 more seconds, halfway through this move. And this is already move five, which means when you finish this move, we're already five minutes in. Yes, smile. Next move is gonna take a little bit of balance, but you've got it. Beautiful, three, two, one more each way. Okay, single leg hop. Pick one leg and just hop. So I have my heel up toward my glute and I'm hopping. I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds then we're gonna do the other leg for 30 seconds. Try to stay upright, I just noticed I was leaning. So try to stay upright. 15 seconds here, you're gonna feel this in your stabilizing leg. If you need to, you can hop with both feet for this entire minute, both feet down. No worries. Like I said, just keep moving. Switch feet. Okay, 30 seconds. I like to have some moves that get us to think and then some moves that we can just kind of meditate because it's a constant motion so we can just kind of let ourselves chill. Yes, our heart rate stays high. You have 10 more seconds and then we're going into our next move. Yes. Nice work. Two, one. Okay, so we're going kick, reach, and you can step both feet down just like this, or you can take it up a notch. Kick, 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 kick. You could also keep your hand on your hips. If that it helps with a little bit of balance, you could make the kicks a little lower or a little bit higher. So you always have options. Kind of like in my hands on my hips. The reach when I try not to tap down just seems to take my balance off a little more than I would like because we want to challenge our balance, but safely. So we don't want to challenge us to the point 
that we feel like we're gonna really fall off our rebounder. 20 seconds. Yes. Woo! You're doing amazing right here. 10 seconds. And then we're going into pendulum. Woo! Legs on fire. Last one. Okay, arms come up to goal post, pendulum, just legs out to the side. Add a little side bend. You can always have your hands on your hips if that's a little better for you. Yes. Breathe. Smile. You have 45 seconds in this move. Whew. This is nice. Heart rate. Staying up there. Remember, at any point, grab your sip of water. At that halfway point, I'll let you know who will get a sip and we'll go right into round two now. Whew. Yes. 15 seconds. And then we're going into move nine after this. Nine of 15 for this first round. The next one's really going to challenge our balance. Last set right there. Okay. Bring it to the bounce. Next move looks like this. Kick front, side, back, bounce. Bounce, front, side, back. So you have two hops in the middle, and then you switch sides. Yes. You could do whatever you like with your hands. I kind of like them right here. Nice work. Just also open up through your hips. So think hip mobility here. So we're not overdoing it. You can always take these kicks a little bit lower. Just a little hip movement. Our hip joint is made to move. It's made to turn, rotate. Yes, I almost lost my balance there, but I caught it. You have 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Take it one more time each side. Yes, last one. Okay, bring it here. A little bounce, and then we're moving on to the next one. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. You're going to pick a leg, forward, back, side to side. Forward, back, side to side. Yes, okay, so just like that. You have about 25 seconds each side by the time we get started in this move. So you're on a single leg once again. So whichever leg you'd like to be on, start there. And you're just making this kind of cross. Okay, switch legs. Making a T here on the rebounder. You're just about 10 minutes into this 30 minute workout. So you're almost a third of the way done. Stay with me. Yes, eight more seconds. Wow, this single leg balance is really getting me today. Some days we're more balanced than others and that's okay. Okay, back here. Okay, so now we have single knee wide pull. You'll see it looks like this, okay? So pick one side, we have 30 seconds there. Yes. Beautiful. And then we'll switch our knees halfway through. You're gonna feel this in your side body. Keep breathing through this. A few more seconds, then we're switching sides. One more, switch sides. Smiling the entire time so that you tell your body that you're happy and you're doing something amazing for yourself. Find length every time you reach up. You have less than 15. Beautiful, 10 seconds. Woo! We are almost to the halfway point of this entire workout. One more. Okay, bring in here a little boxer shuffle while I show you the next. It simply looks like this. Hands will come up here, little twists. Okay, similar to our hip dips, except we're not bending our knees anymore. They're staying at a stable bend. Hip dips, we kind of went down and then up. This is staying stable. But similar twists in the motion of our lower body from our core down. Yes. Nice work. I love twists. You have about 30 more seconds. It just helps to bring out toxins. I feel like it helps. I feel good in that moment. 
The twist just helps to rejuvenate you whenever we twist our body. And just like our hips, our spines made to move as well. Curve. So it just opens up the bones, the joints. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, so now next move looks like this. Knee tap, knee tap. So opposite hand taps opposite thigh. Yes. So it's just a spinal little twist a small little twist of your upper body towards your knee. Your hips this time are staying squared. So unlike the last move, just a little rotation, but try to keep your chest proud. So try not to hunch over in your, in your chest during this. It's getting me, 30 seconds. Yes. Nice work. You have 20 seconds right here. Beautiful. Keep going. You just have two more moves after this. They're kind of tough, but you can do that, I promise. Just two more moves to end this first little half. One more each way. Okay, next one. Four front punches, two X jumps. Four front punches, two X jumps. If you don't like the X jumps, you can take jumping jacks. Yes. 45 seconds on the clock. Less than two minutes to go in this first half. Then we're gonna just grab a quick sip of water, no break. We're going right into move one when we're done. 30 seconds. Yes. Keep going. Smile. Whew. 15 seconds. Maybe you let out a big holler. Talk yourself into this, not out of it. Pushing as we get tired. So we need to push the most. One more set. Okay, next one we have hop, hop, tuck, hop, hop, tuck. One minute. Work for this final minute of this first half. But of course, you don't really have a long break. I'm talking. Couple seconds, grab a quick sip, and get right back into that first move, which is the tap inside, outside jumping jacks. <sighs> Folding yourself in half here. Yes, you've got it. Pulling up from your pubic bone all the way up, 30 seconds. <sighs> okay, zipping everything up tight. <sighs> nice work. Core is on fire. <sighs> when we're doing all this balancing, all this hopping, our core gets a lot of work, a lot of muscle endurance. 10 seconds. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, quick sip. Okay, right back in. Tap inside, outside, two jumping jacks. Other side. Yes, you've got it. You're here, you have 45 more seconds. If you need a little longer break, pause this. Totally fine. And then join me right back up. The goal here is to push yourself to your limit, not my limit, not someone else's limit. 30 seconds, and you do not have to see this move again in this workout. Yes. And also that means you're more than halfway through 30 minutes. Relax your shoulders, 15 seconds, yes. You've got this. Keep going, last set right here. And then we just have two side punches and then punch across. So it looks like this, punch, punch, knee punch across, knee punch across the other side. Woo, okay, so just like that. Beautiful, move two, keep going. Breathe through this. Yes, nice, remember opposite knee comes up with the opposite arm that punches. Keep moving, keep going. Whew. Okay, styles enough. 
I think something is underneath my table. Yes, okay, keep going. Mentally stay with me here. 10 more seconds. Beautiful. We got this and we're going right into move three. Okay, ready? Knee, kick. Knee hop, kick hop. Okay, one minute right here. Move three of 15 for this round. You've seen all these moves before. So now it's just like a refresher. You can maybe push a little bit harder. Try not to leave anything in the tank. Empty everything out that you have. This is where you push yourself. Yes. Breathe through it. Woo! 30 seconds. Nice work. The next one is our combo move of that jab, cross, jab with the two hops. But right now, you have 10 more seconds here. Focus. Strong, kick away with that nice flex foot. One more. Woo! Yes, okay, plant your feet. Jab, cross, jab, hop, hop. 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 You find what works best for you on which foot comes up. Each side, just make sure that you're alternating. Yes. Beautiful. 30 seconds. Wow. You're almost two thirds of the way done. We are almost at our 10 minute mark to be the finish line. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Count down in your head. Like I said, talk yourself into this movement, not out of this. You have one more. Okay, next move, hip dips. Dip and dip. So when you come to center, you're gonna slight bend, then you hop up. So I like to come up on like my tippy toes here. Woo! Yes, keep going. 45 seconds. After this move, you only have 10 minutes left. Be proud of how far you've come, where you're going. Yes. Keep going. You're strong. Woo! 25 seconds. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, Stella, enough. You keep going. I'm going to get her. Okay. Enough. Okay. Yep. More than enough. Keep going there. Promise. I've got gotcha. you. Okay. You have eight more seconds here of your hip dips. Then you're going into single hop on one side. Ready? Go. Hop. 30 seconds. Right here. I told you, it's real life. Sometimes we have to stop, get something done, fix our dogs, our pups, our kids, whatever it is. The point here is to keep coming back. The point here is to be consistent. You don't have to be perfect, just consistent. Nice. Okay, five more seconds on this leg, then we're quickly switching sides. Okay, go. Yes. Okay, you're less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. After this, we're going into that alternating kick. You can add the reach, hands on hips, the step between. You know all of your options. And I want you to find what's safe for you today, maybe. You need to stop in between because your balance will go off. That's okay. You have five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Okay, remember you can go kick reach with that tap in between. Just like this. You can kick, kick with the reach. Hands on hips. For some reason I like my hands on hips today. So that's what I'm doing. Make the right choice for you and your body. 45 seconds here. Yes. We're picking up the pace because this is it. This is it for this move. We're getting to that end. We're rounding that finish line. Rounding that corner, getting to the finish line. Less than 30 seconds. Yes. 
You have 20 seconds. Stay focused, stay balanced. 15. Woo! 10. Yes. Smile. Legs are getting tired. Five. Pendulum coming up next. That's it. Pendulum right into it. Remember, if you need a break, grab a sip and then join us. Not a long break because we're trying to stay in our working zone. Where that says steady kick, stay cardio for 30 minutes here with me. Woo! 40 seconds. Yes. Okay. Okay, stay with your pendulum. Stella, keep going. You've got this. I don't know what's going on with her today. Okay. Just give her a little bone. Okay, you have 20 seconds. Get right back into it. Woo! 15. Wherever you're at after this move, you have seven minutes left. Max move is the kick front, side, back, hop, hop. And you're alternating sides here. Three, two, one, go. Front, side, back, hop, hop, front, side, back, hop, hop. Yes. 50 seconds. Yes. Keep going. Breathing heavy. 30 seconds. Nice. 25. Let's do this. Yes. You've got this. Woo! You have 10 seconds right here. Yep, one more on the other side. And then you're done with this move. Okay, this is your single leg where you go front, back, side to side. So 30 seconds right here. 30 seconds. You can, I'll be right back. Okay. Keep going. I believe in you, you've got this. Yes, I'm back with you. Okay, you have nine more seconds on this side, and then we're gonna switch sides. I've always got you, and you've got you. Okay, switch sides. Nice work. Woo! Yep, you're making that T here, or that X. Just moving. Gets our mind thinking a little differently when we add this angle, this movement to our hops. Like I said, this is not only about your heart and your body, it's also your mind. Because health is inside, outside, all around, mind and body. Okay, next move, wide knee pulls, pick a side. Yes, okay, guess what? You're at that five minute mark. 30 seconds this side, and then we're gonna switch sides. Feeling this in your oblique, try to lean in to the side that you're pulling your knee up with. 10 more seconds this side. Breathing out through your mouth here. Yes. Couple more. One more right here, switch sides. Okay, find your breath. That's what's gonna get you through when time gets tough. Okay, not only in your workouts, but everyday life. So remember, breathing is so important. In through your nose, out through your mouth. When our heart rate gets high, when, that, when we're in that fight or flight like we are now, our exhales get quicker. Three, two, one, twist. Okay, so remember, it's similar to the hip dips, except you're keeping your feet nice and narrow, and you're keeping that slight bend of your knees. So we can slow our mind down a little bit in this motion because we don't have to think as much. We're on two feet, we're twisting. Now the more narrow you feet, your feet are, the more balance it will require. The wider your stance, the less balance it will take, okay? Yes, 30 more seconds right here. Maybe you close your eyes, you have less than four minutes. 
That means after this move, you just have three more moves. Nice. 15 seconds. And because you've already seen the moves, you know what's coming. So mentally, go to wherever you need to go to finish strong. Go to that place that you push yourself. Okay, knee tap, knee tap. Maybe you had a little reach back with that opposite arm here. I kind of like that, okay? Just helps you twist a little bit more, but you keep your chest nice and high. Remember, just two more moves after this. Yes. Woo! 30 minutes, wow. I have not done a 30 minute rebounder with you in so long. This felt amazing. I hope you thought the same. I hope you feel wonderful and know that you have done enough and you are enough, always. Even if you had to take breaks here and there, that's amazing. You are right where you're supposed to be. Bring it out for those purse lifts, 15 seconds. Remember, breath work, so important. 10 seconds. Then we're going on to the forefront punches, two X jumps or jumping jacks. One more each way, go. Punch, two, three, four, X jump. X jump, there you go. You're in it. Okay, less than two minutes. This move and one more. You know what it is. Yes, 45 seconds. Remember, you're at home by yourself, so it's okay to try something and maybe back it down. Maybe you try the X jumps and you're like, those are not for me. Go to jumping jacks. 30 seconds. Yes. So that means you have less than a minute and a half left of, in, of this entire 30 minute workout. You've made it this far. Finish strong. Yes, 15 seconds. Nice, 10. Woo, five. Take one more. Okay, you have bounce, bounce, tuck. Bounce, bounce, tuck. Folding yourself in half. Nice. 50 seconds. Push it strong. For the last 30, I'm gonna give you an option to lose the bounces and tuck it strong. It's gonna be a push because we're tired. You ready? Okay, 30 seconds, go. 30 seconds, tuck it up. I like elbows in by my side. You can keep the bounces in between. Remember, what works best for you. The goal here is to just finish it. Your strongest, no one else's. And your best, it's amazing and it is enough. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, woo, 6, 5, faster, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Wow. That's amazing. You are amazing. Just take it. Let your arms floppy hang. And just take a nice boxer shuffle. <sighs> Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. I need a sip of water. Yes. Okay. Let your feet go wide. Hip circles here. <sighs> just open up your spine, your hips. <sighs> Switch directions. Activity yes. Needed. Nice. Alternate tapping the instep of your foot. Another hip opener, glute opener. We're slowing everything down. We're telling our body that we're safe. We're out of the fight or flight. We want to come back in to our rest, digest, recover. The parasympathetic nervous system now outside of the foot. So slow and intentional movements here. Bring your heart rate down. They skyrocket, especially at the end. Cannot peek go wide. Little floppy arm twist from side to side. Breathe, smile, unclench your jaw, unclench your glutes. Now bring both feet down and you're gonna take like knee tantrums. So you're really quickly, feet are flat and you're gonna have a little bounce and you're basically just loosening up through the muscles. You can take your hand, just tap them, just kind of loosen those muscles. 
Now come to standing. If you need a longer cool down, I have those on my video. And before we come to our final relaxation rest, let's roll through our ankle. Pick one ankle, one direction, and then switch. We always wanna open up the joints after jumping, switch sides, just like when we started. Now we wanna open them. Our joint set tend to tighten and stiffen, stiffen during these type of workouts. Okay, now find your relaxation pose. You can be standing on your rebounder, lying down, stand on the floor, wherever that is for you today, find it and just start to breathe. So now you wanna to start to elongate your inhales and then elongate your exhales even longer than your inhales. So now as you start to rest, you should be able to get a longer exhale out. Inhale, arms sweep up and overhead. And exhale, just let them fall. And that is it for today. If your heart rate is not down enough, make sure that you continue to cool down. And maybe that's just with little pedaling of your feet, just letting your body cool down, some shoulder circles. I do have a cool down rebounder video. You can head it over mini trampoline, mini trampoline rebounding playlist. I have it right there. You can go do that. Really make sure that you're opening up your joints because that tends to tighten and stiffen whenever we do these workouts to help keep us safe. Great, make sure that you like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this long 30 minute workout in the comments below, I enjoyed it. I've missed these long ones with you. More to come and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted and I will see you next time. Goodbye everyone.